The magnificence of the building seems out of place today in the midst of a neighborhood that is more gritty than grand. The Masonic Temple seems proud of its splendor and history. When it was completed in 1926, it was the largest building of its kind in the world. The architect was a very famous architect named George Mason. And he designed a building for the ages. While many of us think of it as an entertainment venue, the temple is so much more. It is 500,000 square feet, with 1,037 rooms and long, magnificent hallways connecting them all. It's an outstanding venue, and everything that was built in this place was first class. That includes the main auditorium, which has been the stage for dozens of plays and concerts. A second large auditorium is named for benefactor Jack White, and there's even a third auditorium that was never finished. The main purpose of this building is to house the Masons of the city of Detroit. There are eight lodge rooms, each decorated in a different style. They're used for lodge meetings, but can also be rented by other groups for gatherings. This room is regularly used for weddings, and receptions are held in the fountain ballroom, or more often, the larger, more ornate crystal ballroom. And the building's drill hall is used for Detroit roller derby. This is uh, about 19,000 square foot of floor space that is built on a floating floor. But recently, the temple has had trouble paying its bills. Singer-songwriter Jack White wrote a check for $142,000 to help pay off back taxes. But the announcement of a new stadium and entertainment district nearby have made the temple's future much brighter. We have a lot of very exciting announcements and plans in the works for the next two, three years. This building may soon house restaurants, shops, perhaps even apartments or a boutique hotel. This jewel that has for so long been underutilized may soon be courting investors. And say, hey, come be a part of the temple. Come be a part of Detroit's future.